Now, live, this is the Serpentini Chevrolet Sports Report on 19 Action News. Welcome to the Sports Report, everybody. I'm Ashley Bastock. Well, we asked for it, and now it's finally here, the college football playoffs, and Ohio State is ready for Alabama. The Sugar Bowl is Thursday night, and despite injuries and controversy, the Buckeyes fought their way in, and Urban Meyer loves the national spotlight for his team. This playoff is just a perfect example that, uh, you know, I can't imagine the interest level being any greater uh, than any sport in college football. If you're an SEC person, it's always a, a, a special treat to be able to be a part of the Sugar Bowl. Uh, the University of Alabama and the Sugar Bowl have a great tradition and history of, I think this is our 14th appearance here, and um, a lot of great tradition in all that for a lot of years. Well, now on to that school up north. There's a new boss in Ann Arbor, Jim Harbaugh, introduced today by University of Michigan officials who also announced his $5 million a year deal. But Harbaugh isn't too keen on being called the Wolverine savior. I'm not comfortable with that at all, as I, as I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As I said, this is uh, I'm standing on a foundation that has been built for over 100 years uh, by some great men. Brian Hoyer versus Johnny Manziel. It was a familiar rivalry for Browns fans, but it's unlikely to continue in 2015. Hoyer continues to insist that Johnny's presence will not prevent him from re-signing with the Browns, and that seems likely because he's seen Johnny flounder both on and off the field and has to like his chances. But it will more than likely be money that causes Hoyer to move on. Some team may bump him up from a million a year to five or six, but it probably won't be the Browns. If he wants to be back, that, that leverage is definitely in his court to make that happen. Um, assuming that um, we can agree to that deal and what that deal looks like, then that, that opportunity is available. If we can't come to that agreement, then he obviously would not be back. So I think that uh, there's a lot of work to be done in that regard. And um, I would say from a business perspective, people don't always see eye to eye. Now on to some Buckeye basketball. They hosted Iowa this afternoon, but it did not end well as they fell to the Hawkeyes 71 to 65. Jared Udoff had 18 in the contest. Well, the Cavaliers take on the Hawks tonight in Atlanta. You can catch it on WUAB My 43 at 730. And that's all for the sports report today. Catch us at 11. I'm Ashley Bastock.